9.2 wired or wireless. H of T is the percentage of homes in the United States that have a landline phone in year T. C of T is the percentage of homes with only a cell phone. Here are the graphs of H and C. So again, I think you'll probably all know what a landline is, um, but that's where you have a phone that just stays in your house, it's on a cord, um, and it's got a, you know, a number that you know rings. Maybe your parents have one. Um, I certainly will never get one, and I imagine none of you will either. Unless you run a business or something, then you might have a business phone. All right, but yeah, everyone pretty much uses a cell phone nowadays. We can actually see from the graph that, you know, since the year 2000, less and less people have been using landline phones and more and more people have been having cell phones only. Um, I guess what's also being implied is that you can have a landline and a cell phone and you'll be counted for the landline. Um, but this one is means no landline at all. But you have to have a cell phone. All right, estimate H of 2006, so the number of people with landlines in 2006, and the number of people with only cell phones in 2006. Um, explain what each value tells us about the phones. So um, for H of 2006, if I look at that, that is the solid line. That looks to be about, since this is between 80 and 100, that means midway is 90. So that looks like it's about midway between 80 and 90. So this is implying um, oh, H of 2006, I'll just say it equals 85. All right, and that means that 85% um, of homes in the US have a landline phone. C of 2006, that looks like it is between 10 and 20, so I'm gonna guess that's about 15. And that means that 15% of homes in the US only had a cell phone. All right, what is the approximate solution to C of T equals 20? So at what time did 20% of the United States only have a cell phone? So if I look at 20, because we're looking at a Y value now, right? C of T equals 20, that means Y equals 20. So I'm gonna follow this line across, and I can see that right about here, I would guess in about 2008. So we can say that C of 2008 equals 20, and that means that 20% of uh, households in the US um, only had cell phones in 2008. Determine if each equation is true be prepared to explain how you know. So again, we've got two different functions being set equal to each other. That means we are looking for um, an intersection. So here they're saying um, there's an intersection um, at 2011. So if I go to 2011, I can see that these graphs are rather far apart. So that certainly is not true. Um, so no intersection at t equals 2011. Let's see if 2015 is true. And that is true. And I'll say there is an intersection when t equals 2015. Between 2004 and 2015, did the percentage of homes with landlines decrease at the same rate at which the percentage of cell phones only home at which the percentage of cell phone only homes increased. Explain or show your reasoning. So if we're talking about a rate, right, that's, that means like a rate of change. So we're looking for the delta y over delta x. So let's do, um, let's do landlines first. So we're gonna have two columns, t and h of t. 
and um, we're looking at 2004, 2015. So those are my two X values. So H of T in 2004 looks to be about 5%. This is a rough estimate. In 2015, it appears to be, it looks right in the middle of 1640, so I'll say 50%. So if I want to find that delta Y, delta X, I see my delta X is plus 11, and my delta Y is plus 45. So that's going to be 45 over 11. I am not going to do that in my head, although I do know it is going to be slightly above 4 because 44 is divisible by 11, and that equals 4, so it's going to be something like that. But let me get an exact number. All right, and we get 4.09 repeating. All right, so that's for 2000, uh, that's for household phones. Let's do the same for uh, just cell phones only. All right, so we're at 2004, 2015. So when I look at T, 2004 for, um, did I do this wrong? I did. I meant, this is C of T. How do I know that? Because cell phones is the dashed line. I mixed those up. So let me fix that in my table. This was C of T. And I'll make sure this is very clear. We're talking about a uh, cell phone. So then this will be for H of T. Sorry about that. All right, so now we're looking at landline phones only, or just, that also means, uh, yeah, that's what H of T is for. So in 2004, um, that looks like it's, like I would say like 93%. If you said 95 or somewhere around there, it's fine, but that looks like 93 to me. All right, in 2015, it's decreased, and that's where they intersect. So I'm going to use the same value that I used here, since when they're intersecting, they really should be exactly the same. So our change of x stays the same at plus 11, because it's the same number of years. But our change in y is going to be down 43, All right? because 93 minus 43 equals 50. So for landline, I'm going to write negative 43 over 11, and I can already tell that this rate of change is going to be less. Even though we're talking about negative and positive, we can still say that the, the rate of change is less. Um, all right, they're only losing 3.90% every year. Well, they're gaining 4% above 4%. So this is below 4%. This is above 4%. So cell phones are going to be um, increasing at a greater rate. And they're really just asking, did they um, have the same rate? And clearly, they did not. Although, I mean, it's, it's very possible that, you know, if you said 95 here, then you would see they're the same rate. And these are rather close. So I would say they're, they're pretty close. But by my estimation, um, it looks like cell phones increased um, a little bit more than they decreased. But, you know, depending on what numbers you chose, um, you could very easily have said that it was the same rate because these are pretty close. So. All right. Are you ready for more? Explain why the number of percentage of people with cell phones plus the percentage of people with just landlines is less than 100. Well, um, you can't have greater than 100%. I would even argue that you wouldn't even want to have the equals then sign. Why am I saying that? Well, if we're talking about people with only a land people with a landline or people with a cell phone only, we're leaving out a demographic. What about people with no phone? All right, so there's no possible way this could add up to 
yes, would it be odd to not have any contact? Um, yeah, that would. But I'm sure there are people who like went off and moved into a cabin in the mountains and they don't have a phone. So um, that does account for part of the population, maybe a very small percentage. But there's no way that these could ever equal 100 because that's assuming everyone has some type of phone in their house, which I don't think is necessarily true. All right, that is all for 9.2. Oh, wait, never mind. Are you ready for more? Another one. What value does H C of T plus H of T appear to take between 2004 and 2017? How much does this value vary in that interval? So I guess if we're looking between 2004 and 2017, um, this looks like I said it was 93, and this we said was five. So 93 plus five um, would be 98. So that sort of goes along with this, that we're still, we're less than 100 because that's implying that 2% of the population doesn't have a phone at all in their house. Um, let's see what happens when we get to 2017. Now, well, here we said that we're at 50 and 50. So there it appears that by the year 2015, um, everyone has a phone in their house, which I don't know if that's necessarily true. But I guess if you were to count all the people in the world who don't have a phone, I mean, all the people in the U.S. who don't have a phone, you know, it would probably be a very low number, which would be like maybe a fraction of a percent, which is why it's not, it's, it's adding up very close to 100. All right, so that's all for um uh for uh 9.2